Hey guys, and welcome back to the newly minted 5,000 subscriber channel of Old Car Guy. Today, we're gonna be outfitting old Blackjack here with some Larry lights. You don't know what they are? Stay tuned. So guys, before we get into this video, I want to take a minute to thank someone very special uh, to this channel who has, uh, in the most recent days, given me the boost to reach 5,000 subscribers on YouTube that enabled me to release this video for you guys to watch of blowing up the Camry and the PT Cruiser. Weird Beard Auto Sales or Weird Beard on YouTube uh, he's also got an Instagram handle, I'll put that here, had been following the fact that I'm trying to reach that 5,000 subscriber milestone. And uh, unbeknownst to me, on Tuesday evening of this past week, I happened to notice my subscriber count going up rather significantly, and not just the average of 10 or 12 a day that I've been getting, but uh, from about supper time when I sat down till about bedtime, I had gained about 30 or 40 subscribers not really knowing where they come from until I logged into my YouTube Creator Studio, checking a few comments, and they were saying, hey, I'm here because of Weird Beard, and Weird Beard sent me here, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, it took me a while to find it, because he didn't make a post on Instagram. It wasn't in any of his videos, because I watch his videos. It was on the community section of his YouTube channel, where he had made a post about uh, sending a few people over my way, and help me reach that 5,000 subscriber milestone. So for all you guys who are new to my channel, thank you so much for uh, subscribing and uh, following the direction of Weird Beard and Weird Beard, thank you so much. And if you guys are just crawling out from under a rock and don't know who Weird Beard is, I encourage you to go over to his YouTube channel and subscribe. He's doing some really great stuff uh, over there right now. So head on over and subscribe. And don't forget also, my buddy Grant, Straight Six Fan has been trying to reach the 2,000 subscriber milestone. And by now, you guys watching this video, he's probably reached that because I gave him a shout out as well as Weird Beard saw my shout out and shouted him out as well. At the end of the day, Grant has reached that milestone and has released his burnout video on the Fairmont. So go on over there, subscribe to those guys, help their channels out and see if we can get this community growing of the YouTube automotive niche. So let's get back to work on what we're trying to do and accomplish here today. So in my last episode, I will put that right up here. We installed this roof rack contraption on Project Blackjack. And as you know, we actually welded it to the roof. Now granted, the basket itself is removable because it's just on there with these muffler clamps. Uh, but these bars, I left them as long as I did for a reason. Why, you might ask? Well, because we've got quite a con con blah, 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 blah. English, Jason. We've got ourselves quite a conglomeration of lighting that is going to be mounted on the roof rack that will aid me with this project. Now, it's not going to aid me in the fashion that you think it might with lighting and be able to see at night or off-road. No, not at all. Might be an added bonus. What it's going to aid me in is turning this Grand Marquis, this 2003 Mercury Grand Marquis, into the ultimate off-road redneck mobile. We've already lifted it three inches. We've added 31 inch tires. In total, this thing now sits five inches off the ground than it did when it was stock. With the addition of the roof rack, we've added a total of approximately seven inches. And by the time we get the spare tire on there, it will be even taller. The biggest question that I get from people who see this car simply is, why? Why in the world would you do that to a perfectly good car? Why would you lift it? Why would you put those big tires on it? And the main reason for that simply is this. Why not? It's my car and it's my channel. I can do what I want with it. It seems to be grabbing some views and 
It's getting people to talk about the car. I can't go anywhere. I might as well have a 32 Ford Coupe sitting here, uh, all polished up and shined and, and slammed and, and chopped and all that stuff. I get the same attention with this car as I do with that on something I paid 900 bucks for. So uh, the, the ultimate reason is, is because yes, I do want something to make YouTube content for you guys to watch. You've been asking for the Grand Marquis content and by golly, you're gonna get it. So what we're gonna be doing next is we're gonna be adding some lights to this thing. Now I'll show you where I'm gonna be mounting them and get them mounted. This is part one, part two will be actually the wiring uh, in the next video because uh, we wanna take our time with this, we wanna do it right. We don't wanna burn it down like we tried to do when we were welding the roof rack uh, without removing the headliner. So let's get these things situated. We'll show you exactly what we've got and how we're gonna mount them up there. So first and foremost, we've got all of our necessities here. We've got grommets, we've got uh, butt connectors, we've got heat shrink and we've got some wire loom. We've also got some longer bolts uh, to get them down through those brackets. But we've also got the hardware here that's gonna allow us to have switches. So we've got light bars, rear lights, and rock lights. So this set of four here is gonna be classified as two for rock lights, two for rear lights. And of course, we've got our light bar here, and that light bar will operate off of that switch. So the plan is, is I'm gonna be mounting this up here in the center. I've got brackets coming to mount it onto a round surface, which is what that is on the top. And then we've got these four lights, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one of them mounted here like so, and then we're going to have two of them mounted facing backwards, which we'll have switched as well. And then we've got a couple of small round ones, and these round ones is what I'm thinking I want to mount down here on the bumper. Because I don't have a push guard for this or a police interceptor front, whatever you want to call them, um, I'd like to find one. So if any of you guys know where there is one used that's pretty cheap, uh, I'd like to pick one up. Otherwise. We're gonna mount these right to the bumper bar through the bumper cover, and we'll hook these up to high beams so that when your high beams come on, these will come on as well. Low beams, they shut off, we're back to legal, and uh, don't have to worry too much about it. So those will get mounted there, and at some point in time, we may add a few more lights here and there, like maybe inside the grill, or a few more around the actual bar. Now at some point I do want to add some backup lights that are LED and probably what I'll do is I'll either end up mounting them right to the top here or we will mount them into uh, the bumper and we'll insert them in there. We'll have them wired up to the backup lights so that when we click the backup we will they'll come on automatically. If I need more light then I can flip the switch on the inside and get these ones facing backwards also to come on. Now one thing you've got to do when wiring up lights on the outside of your vehicle, whether it's a car, a truck, or whatever, is you've got to be able to get that power from under the hood or the battery into the cabin for switches and then back out again. So one of the things that I've done in order to aid in that is I got one of these little devices right here. So what this is, is this is something that mounts to a flat surface, like an RV roof. This is exactly what this is mounted for, meant for. And so you cut a hole in your roof, you mount it and you screw it down to a flat surface, you use silicone to seal it up, and then it's got these holes on the inside that allow you to run your wire, that allow you to run your wire in and out of the vehicle. So what we're gonna plan on doing, we'll probably come up in behind this standoff here with this and we'll cut our hole and we'll mount that right there and that way all the lights that are mounted on this rack can come in through here and not have to worry about the roof leaking because it will be sealed up with grommets, silicone, etc. And as far as the light switches go, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a surface mount inside the vehicle because there's an empty spot right here on this overhead console that I think we can cut out and have all of our wires going up in there. That way we can run our wires up underneath the headliner, down the A pillar, and have it fused down either in the fuse panel or underneath the hood somewhere and draw those wires in 
through the firewall. So like I said at the beginning of this video, we're going to focus today on getting the lights mounted and then we'll follow up with another video on how to get them wired up. So let's get to finding a spot for all these lights to mount. Okay, so we've got these lights mounted uh, pretty much where I want them to go. Uh, we've got these front ones facing sideways, so these are kind of be like our alley lights as they would be on a police car, but we're going to call them rock lights just because it sounds cooler. We've got these ones mounted here, and we've got these ones uh, pointing backwards so that we'll be able to shine things up behind us if we want to. And like I said later, we'll end up mounting some LED reverse lights. So these have just a single bolt that goes down through the bottom and then the adjustable Allen heads that allow it to swivel so you can get your height up or down. And we've got this one pointed at its most downward position. And as you can see, it's not that much of an angle, but once we get this thing hooked up and lit, then we can kind of aim where we want it. So as you can see from the back side, we've got one over here and we've got one over here. And then the same thing on this side, we've got our rock light or alley light kind of pointed in this direction. So all I'm gonna do now is get some electrical tape. I'm just gonna kind of tape up those ends so they don't get rusty. Um, I'm not gonna be doing this all on the same day. Uh, it's a Thursday evening and as most of you guys know, this week I celebrated the 5,000 subscribers, like I said at the beginning of the video, and Grant Tommy, who is my co-host on the Car Guy and Six Fan Show, celebrated 2,000. So he texted me and said we should do an impromptu Car Guy and Six Fan Show, and I'm going to leave that link right up here so you guys go back and watch that. It was fun. Um, there might have been a proposal in there somewhere. I don't know what he's talking about. Anyways, so... We had a great show talking about uh, season five and some of the uh, things that you guys may want to see on that show. And uh, so go watch that, that live stream that we had tonight, which you guys can see at any point after this video goes up. And uh, make sure you comment down in the comment section below what you wanna see for season five. So for now, uh, it's almost nine o'clock. I'm gonna get these wires kind of taped up and out of the way until we can get back to it. We did not get our bumper lights mounted these round ones and uh, basically because we ran short of time I think what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go in behind the grill and mount them in there for the simple fact that if I ever do get a push bar then I can move them to the outside or add other ones to the outside so before I close this video out, I do want to show you guys one more thing or actually two more things that I did today Friday before I went and edited this video. So let's take a quick peek. So one of the things that we did was we took the grill out and we scuffed it up and we flat blacked it. We also left the grill emblem in the chrome. But if you look closely, you'll see that the round headlights that I was gonna mount out here, I've mounted them inside the grill. So let's turn those on because we've got them wired up to the high beams and let's take a look and see what they look like. So this is as far as we got right now. So in the next video, you guys are gonna see that I got the light bar hooked up as well as the four lights that we mounted in this video earlier. So stay tuned for that. So I'm just gonna button things up here. This will be it for this episode, guys. I hope that you're really enjoying the content on Rednecking Project Blackjack. Uh, very, very shortly, we're going to have some uh, stickers for the channel as well as a new logo. So that new logo will be in the form of a sticker as well as the new brand of the clothing line that I'm trying to launch. My goal was to have it launched by the end of 2020 and we're almost there. My buddy Tim has been working on those designs. We're hoping to get those launched very soon. So uh, stickers will be available hopefully for the new year. Uh, we'll be launching the brand here probably in December sometime, hopefully before Christmas. And we can get those, uh, some of those new t-shirts up for you guys to buy if you're interested. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel and helping support everything that's going on by watching them, uh, by giving thumbs up, by subscribing down below if you're not already. I know there's a few of you still out there who just like to watch the videos with no commitment. Well, guess what? That subscription button is absolutely free. All it's gonna do is notify you as soon as my videos go up. 
Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you all. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.